What's up folks, it's Dan here from BeAGameCharacter.com where we turn games into games. And today we are going over hand strength training using only a dumbbell. Alright, I've done some hand strength training guides before, but most of them involved, uh, you know, the squeezers or towels or stuff like that. This is how to train your forearms and hands and wrists completely using just a dumbbell. Okay, now dumbbells are great because they are a very good intro level uh, exercise equipment and they're, you know, very versatile, tons of weightlifting regimen you can use using just a dumbbell. But for today, we're going to focus on hand strength, which is something that I find that a lot of people don't focus on as much as they should. you got to remember your hands are the way that you interact with the world. So having strong hands carries over to basically everything that you do. It's like having a strong back or strong legs. It's something that you use in basically every aspect of your life. So training your hands and your wrists, first of all, prevents injury. Second of all, having stronger hands and stronger forearms and wrists will increase your overall strength capacity, basically. Because if your hands aren't strong enough to lift a certain weight, it doesn't matter how strong the rest of your body is if your hands can't hold it. So, we're going to start off with first working our crush grip strength. Crush grip strength is this motion, the motion of closing your hands. All right, now if you have a squeezer, like a, a, you know, you're one of those spring-loaded things, that's what you usually work with these. But it's just one facet. So to work that with a dumbbell, what you want to do is you want to let the dumbbell hang and roll down until right about when it's at your fingertips, and then roll it back up again using just your hands. What you want to focus on is letting it roll for as far as possible, and then rolling back up without using your upper body at all. You don't want to use your forearms at all. Notice I'm sitting down, letting my arms hang right here, and I've got my elbow braced against my thigh. That way I can be sure it's straight the whole time. I don't curl to cheat up the motion at all, right? You roll it down and roll it back up again. You can do the same thing on the other side. Let it roll all the way down to your fingertips as far as you can, and then roll it back up again. Now, when you're working hand strength training, you want to work in rep ranges of 10 to 15 or so, relatively high repetitions. All right. When you're working towards getting a new weight, you know, if you want to add some weight on your dumbbell, you're working towards getting that new weight under your control, then maybe 5 to 8, but generally what you're working says to be around 10 to 15, higher than you usually do for strength training. So when you're laying out your forearm and wrist and hand strength workout guide, you want to be doing somewhere between 10 to 15 repetitions. So when you pick your weight, you should pick a weight that you can do 10 to 15, and if you go all the way to 15, you're like, okay, yeah, this is getting tough. I'm not sure I can squeeze this one up on that last rep. Okay, so do three sets of that, 10 to 15 repetitions before you move on to your next exercise. Next up is wrist curls. Now what you're going to do for these, okay, you're going to let your forearm go across your knee or even put it across a bench or something like that too. I just like to sit on something and put it across my knee. You're going to let it, your forearm go across your knee and your hand position is going to be similar to what we were doing before with the finger curls, but this time we're going to curl up with our wrist. We're going to curl up like that and back down again. You want to let it hang out and get that full range of motion back out again. So curl it up and back down again. Just like that. Those are wrist curls and you want to get the full range of motion without moving your arm. That's again part of the reason why you brace it here. You want your arm to not really be involved as much as possible. See my arm is kind of coming up a little bit. That's mostly just because the muscles on the back of my forearm are flexing here which is kind of, you can't really avoid it as you're coming up. So. Like before, we want to do 10 to 15 repetitions of that and three sets. So you want to have a weight that you can do 10, you know, three sets of 10. Three sets of 15 is really starting to push it. Once three sets of 15 gets easy for you, that's when you bump the weight up. From the wrist curls, we're going to move on to wrist extensions. For the wrist extensions, you're going to start with your forearm over your leg like before, but this time you're going to have your palm facing downwards like this. You can see and you're going to have, it's basically the inversion of the wrist curl position. So you start down here, and then you flex up like that. And what you want to focus on is keeping your hand level. I'm going to turn towards the camera so you can see. You don't want your hand to come up, you know, go down and come up on an angle like that. You want to keep it as level as possible as it curls up again. So it goes down and back up. And you can see on this side, we're here. It goes all the way down. You can see I've almost got like a 90 degree bend on my wrist there. My forearm is braced and I curl up and back down again. Just like before, 10 to 15 repetitions per set, three sets, same rule as before. After we finish that, we're going to move on to pronation and supination twists. So you can do this with just the handle when you're first starting out. Later on, you can add some weight on, but when you add the weight on, you're going to add it to one side, alright? That really only works if you've got the adjustable dumbbells like this. 
If you've got cast iron dumbbells where it's just a single weight, then you're going to want to grip it as close to the weight on one end as possible. So for pronation and supination, what you're going to do is, again, you're going to brace your forearm right on your leg like this, and you're going to slowly twist back and forth. You want to get that full range of motion right here, as far around it as you can comfortably go with your flexibility. All right? And if you're more flexible, you might be able to get the weight to go further. But you just want to twist back and forth, and so one back and forth motion is one repetition. Okay? So you twist back and forth like that. So that is going to work your uh, um, twisting motion right there. This is really good for preventing uh, uh, sprained wrists. Usually when you sprain your wrist, it's either you brace hard on something or your hand gets caught on something and twists. All right. So the bracing hand, that's going to be helped with your wrist curls and wrist extensions. But when your hand gets caught on something and twists, or if you're holding on something and it twists in your hand, that can really mess you up. So this is going to prevent injury from that. It's also just going to increase your overall wrist strength. If you ever have wrists that hurt or something like that, when you're doing something like push-ups, or if you're doing something like, uh, uh, you know, when you bench press, you find you, the, the bar hurts a little bit after you've been supporting it for a while, this is going to help with that. And again, the idea is you want controlled motion. You don't want to be flying back and forth. Like I said, you go slowly from one side to the other, nice and easy, and just as far as you can go. Both ways is one repetition. So like with the curls and the extensions and the finger curls, you want to do 10 to 15 repetitions per set, and you want to get in three sets. And that's it. That'll hit just about everything that your wrists and forearms can do, with the exception of the extension motion of your fingers, okay? That, and also, the last one, pinch grip. Now, pinch grip, you're probably not going to be doing with adjustable dumbbells, but you can work pinch grip if you have adjustable dumbbells by taking your plates off and pinching and holding your plates like so. Okay? Now, these you can do for timed holds, usually 20 to 30 seconds. If you can do 30 seconds, it's time to up your weight. If you want to replicate this with cast iron dumbbells, what you can do is, since cast iron dumbbells typically have that hexagonal head, you just pinch either side of the head. It gets to a point where probably your dumbbells get a little too heavy for you to do that, but until you get to that point, you know, I mean, the heavy dumbbells, you can't really fit your hand around, but until you get to that point, you can do a pinch grab on a hex dumbbell like that pretty easily. But if you've got adjustable and you've got plates, you can do a pinch grip just like this, all right? And you just hold it like that for a count of 20 to 30 seconds. Now on that, again, you can do three sets, but if you're doing timed holds, it's better to go for like five sets or so, something like that. And again, the finger extension motion, unfortunately, that's basically the only thing you can't really work with dumbbells, but that one's super easy. Just go find yourself some rubber bands. Put rubber band in your fingers and work on extending and contracting again like that, and that'll work your extension motion. So, just to review one more time, we have the finger curls, which is where you let it hang flat like that and curl up. We have wrist curls, which is where you curl up like that. We have wrist extensions, curl up like that. And then we have pronation and supination twists, which is where you hold the end and you twist back and forth like that. If you find you have tennis elbow, tendonitis of any kind in your arms, this will really help with that. Uh, if you just want to get stronger hands for you know crushing coconuts with your bare hands, you can do that too. <laughs> like I said, for all the exercises where you're doing repetitions, you want 10 to 15 repetitions per set and three sets. And if you're doing timed holds on anything, you want to go for 20 to 30 seconds for three to five sets. And that's it. You'll have strong hands in no time. You can go ahead. You'd be surprised at how quickly your hands will increase strength when you first get started, especially if you've never trained hand strength before. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye. Listen!